a number of things could prevent a thread from being executed at any given time. It could be that the thread is set to a lower priority than the other threads and other programs in the system. A number of threads could be running at the same priority and they're all taking turns. One thread is always halted while another is running and if there are lots of threads running any one of them could appear to be very slow and it's often stopped. A call could have been made to the sleep method. A thread could be blocked waiting for the completion of I.O. This is common, and some devices, such as the Internet, are very slow. The thread could be halted on a wait call, so it won't start again until another thread calls notify on the monitor. The thread class has a yield method that will temporarily halt the thread and allow other threads to continue execution. And there are some other useful methods inside the thread object. You can set the execution priority of a thread at any time. You can set the name of a thread either by using this method or by specifying a name on the constructor of the thread object. The getName method will retrieve the name of the thread. In a multi-threaded system, it sometimes is quite useful to be able to include the thread name in error reports and in logging. The method named current thread is a static method that returns a reference to whichever thread is currently executing. You could, for example, put the current thread to sleep or call one of its methods. The join method is intended to make it possible for you to have two threads end together. All it does is sleep until the other thread dies, then it returns. The thread group class can be used to maintain a list of a group of threads. It has a number of methods that allow you to call one method and, in effect, call the same method on that entire group of threads.